Hello friends. I decided to open a new section on the channel. I decided to name her letters from subscribers, in which I will tell real stories from people who have encountered something mystical in their lives and want to share it. Of course, I can't check if these stories are true, so it will be on the conscience of those who wrote this to me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then do it so as not to miss all the new items on the channel, and also subscribe to the Telegram group where you can write me a message directly and contact me. And now let's find out this story from Maria, who wrote to me and shared this story. Maria lived in an old house on the outskirts of town. Her home was overgrown with ivy, had high ceilings, and creaky floors. At night, when everyone else slept, she often heard strange sounds, footsteps on the stairs, door creaks, and rustling in the room across the hall. One night, waking up to the sounds, Maria saw a ghostly figure in her room. It was a woman in a white dress with long hair covering her face. She stood by Maria's bed, slowly turning her head. Maria was frightened but couldn't look away. The ghost began uttering unintelligible words, as if trying to convey something. Maria couldn't understand the language, but she felt that the ghost needed help. She decided to learn more about her house. In the city archives, she discovered that the house was built on the site of an old cemetery. The woman in white turned out to be the daughter of one of the first owners, who died under mysterious circumstances. Maria started exploring the house, deciphering codes and messages left by the ghost. She learned that the woman's soul was trapped in the house, waiting for someone to help her find peace. Each day, Maria uncovered new secrets about the house. She found an old diary with entries about strange events and enigmatic encounters. She established contact with the ghost, and they communicated through messages on the walls. Eventually, Maria found a way to release the woman's soul. She performed a ritual, and the ghost disappeared. The house stopped creaking, and Maria no longer heard strange sounds. Interestingly, Maria continues to live in that house. She believes the ghost has departed, but sometimes at night, she hears faint footsteps and sees a shadow in the corner of her room. She smiles, knowing she's no longer alone.